Roast me. You belong to the street. Okay, so I saw this trend on YouTube where a lot of people were sending interviews, surveys to their crushes. And I was like, you know what? I want to do this video. But then I remembered that I had my first crush and I was probably like two years old. So I was like, okay, let me not do this video exactly, but let me kind of twist it up. And so therefore, I decided to send a survey to all of my past entanglements. And before you guys attack me and using the word entanglements, can I please just define what entanglement means in my sense? Thank you. For me, entanglements would be people that i've had a crush on but it kind of went to the next stage meaning this could be someone that maybe it was just a mutual crush like we both had crushes on each other maybe we, we went into a relationship maybe we like you know went on dates maybe it was just a talking stage so i don't know how to like categorize that how to label it so i decided to call them entanglements and can i please just say this is a public service announcement that i have consent from all of these people to be sharing their answers i'm not going to be using their names i'm not going to be mentioning their names for obvious reasons but this video is not supposed to bash anyone it's not supposed to you know insult anyone so if you're here looking for beef you know trying to start things on this video this is not the video for you, you know? We're all about positive vibes here. We're all about healing and learning. And so I'm going to be transparent to you. I'm also going to be giving one or two tips. So without further ado, I have the questions here on my laptop. I'm opening them for the first time. So I'm gonna be just as shook as you guys. And yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, how long were we together for? One to six months. Why did we break up? You strung me along till you moved. Rate my personality. Eight. What did you actually think of my friends at the time? They were all cool except for... I don't think she liked me. Oh, and... Okay, so I'm not going to be reading the second part of this answer because I think it's a bit personal and I think it's a bit rude. And as I said in the beginning, this is not supposed to be, you know a rude video so i am not going to expose the names sorry roast me you belong to this street what's the worst thing you ever did to me so this answer has three parts y'all see how y'all be treating your girlfriends anyways one accidentally went through your chats on twitter two always disappointing you or at least felt like it three the one time i did not open the door for you Guys, here's my first tip. I don't know if it's just me, but I am so against the idea of going through your partner's phones. Like, if you guys have consent, you know, if you both agree to it, then it's cool. You know, if I give you my password, I'm like, you know what? My phone is your phone. Do whatever you want. That's cool. But if you just go through my stuff unprovoked, trying to like prove a point, trying to find things, you will find things. You know, there's a saying in Portuguese that basically reads, quem procura acha meaning he who searches shall find so i'm not saying that that's the only reason i think you know you shouldn't be going to someone's home but i think it's an invasion of privacy like even with your friends even with your children your parents a phone is such a personal thing that i don't think it should be like you know okay i'm just gonna go through your phone same thing with like my my wardrobe you know my room my laptop if it's mine do not touch it <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, do you see us being together again? Why? Nah, I'm not worthy. You said it. You... I didn't say it. Okay, cool. How awkward is this? Seven. What advice would you give to my next? Who's next? <laughs> he literally said... He literally said... Who's, who's next? next? <laughs> no, no. But okay, let's go on to the next one. How long were we together for? 12 plus months why did we break up we didn't date i just give you your space when you're in need of some guys i cannot stress this enough you need to give people space to live their lives because that person was already living their lives before you arrived in their lives you know if someone says this is too much for me or i have to deal with this or this and that it should be okay to give people space you know because if you're not giving someone space you're going to suffocate them you're going to probably either irritate them or just frustrate them and then it's not going to end up good because they don't even know how to tell you that you're suffocating them so please just learn 
to give people this chance. Guys, I'm really sorry about the sliding. I know there's like a like a shadow in between me. It's just that I don't usually film at this time. So obviously like, you know, the sun is shifting and like the curtains are like weird. So anyways, rate my personality. Eight. What did you actually think of my friends at the time? Never knew them personally. Fair enough. Roast me. You're so short, you can actually look under the bed standing up. No, like, what type of beds you guys have? What the hell? <laughs> What's the worst thing you ever did to me? Okay, I'm not gonna read this one, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you see us being together again? Why? Hell yeah, you're the bomb. Thank you. Gold star for me. How awkward is this? Five. What advice would you give to my next? Be patient and understanding. Okay. Okay, next. How long are we together for? One to six months. Why did we break up? No dynamic in the relationship. What does that even mean? What does that mean? Okay, guys, can you please comment down below what you think that means? Because I'm confused. Anyways, rate my personality. Seven. What did you actually think of my friends at the time? I like them a lot. Rose me. You have a crackhead laugh. I just... Can someone please show me what an example laugh would sound like? I feel like most people, if not every person in this world, does not have a normal laugh. A normal laugh. Like, what does a normal laugh mean? <laughs> What's the worst thing you ever did to me? Not take a picture, right? <laughs> Dear future husband, if you are watching this, I want you to know that in order for us to work as a couple, you know, a married couple, you need to know how to take pictures of me. Not trying to be a narcissist, but like, please, that is so important. Like, if you can't take pictures of me, then you don't love me, you know? So you either learn or it's not going to work out. <laughs> you see us being together again. Why? No. Just no, no explanations, nothing else, just just vibes, just vibes. How awkward is this? Six. What advice would you give to my next? Don't be too nice. <laughs> Y'all really out here exposing me. Guys, don't be too nice in general to anyone, even to your friends, because people take that for granted. Okay, next. How long are we together for? One to six months. Why did we break up? Okay, this, this, these answers are pretty long, so if I read this really poorly, I'm sorry. I haven't been in school in like four months. We weren't technically together, but things didn't progress because of the personal issues my family was going through, and I had to step in with that and help out. That together with the fact that I was really insecure not, about not having wealth, and at this stage in my life, I don't have access to funds. It bothers me to feel like I can't offer anything but my company and time. Guys, can I tell you guys something? We are young. I am young, right? And I feel like it shouldn't be anyone's responsibility to be anyone's money tree at this age. I feel like most of us are still studying. Maybe you're working, like maybe you're studying on the side. Meaning we're not financially independent. Like I'm still living under my parents' roof. If I need money, I should be asking my dad, my mom, not my significant other. Like it's it's such a big responsibility to like make yourself someone else's responsibility financially. Because I don't I don't have money. Why am I gonna expect anyone else to have money? You know, like guys, please fix your mindsets. Eradicate this mindset of my boyfriend needs to be rich. My boyfriend needs to buy me this and that. Can you buy yourself this and that? Just ask yourself that. If you can afford it, this is a life hack, guys. If you can afford it, then don't expect anyone else to afford it for you. If you can buy it yourself, don't expect anyone else to buy it for you. That's all I'm gonna say. Rate my personality, 10. Another gold star for me. <laughs> what did you actually think of my friends at the time? I never met your friends. Fair enough. Roast me. Nothing to roast. You're kind, compassionate, a little feisty, but that's what I really like about you. <laughs> Can overthink a tad and maybe take things a little too personally. Like the fact that I didn't see you again being a reflection of you when I was just an insecure one. Guys, please don't, please don't project your insecurities onto other people because it shows. Let me give you guys an example. 
if you are dating someone ladies especially if you're dating someone and uh he follows or he likes a photo of a girl that you think is very pretty you know and then you dm her or like you unfollow her or like you create some scandal or like you know you speak to her like what the hell are you doing and it's like this is you showing how insecure you are because if you were secure enough in yourself then just the idea of your boyfriend following or liking another girl's pictures would mean nothing to you because you know that you have bomb pictures you know and i'm not saying that you know don't be insecure because what the hell all of us are insecure like it's a human thing to do you know you can't really control that but don't project it onto other people because it shows and it's embarrassing but then again guys all of this relationship advice is literally my point of view it's my opinion please do not come at me in the comments attacking me if you have an opinion to give create a platform and give it out don't be patching me because of what my opinion is you know anyways what's the worst thing you ever did to me i stopped talking to you and didn't see you without letting you know anything i kept you in the dark and honestly guys that is okay I've, we've all at some point go to people in our lives and i'm not saying it's okay but it is what it is right do you see us being together again why i'm in a relationship now so it would be unfair to the person i'm seeing now to say yes however if i wasn't seeing anyone absolutely i really enjoyed our time together and it's really unfortunate that life had to separate our paths in the way that it did if in the future i'm single and you are too i don't think i'd make the same mistake again distance is one hell of a drug what no that's distance is just like a really bad thing i don't know how to speak how awkward is this 10 sorry what advice would you give to my next respect sharon and don't assume just because she's attractive that she doesn't possess a keen intellect she's smarter than she lets on and she'll see through your bs if you treat her right she can be the most loving compassionate and understanding partner with a zest for life don't be threatened by her need for independence can i just say guys i'm just gonna say this again guys independence 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 and i'm not even speaking about financial independence anymore i'm speaking about codependency guys okay so us humans are humans like i am an entire human being right i am a person when you go into a relationship, you need to go into a relationship with the mentality of I am my own person and I need someone else to compliment me. You can't go in a relationship thinking, okay, I need someone who's going to complete me. Because you know what? You know what's going to happen? When that person leaves your life, a part of you that was completed with that person is going to leave as well. And then you are going to have identity issues. And then you will not know how to deal with yourself. You don't know what to do because you're so used to being with that person. Like everything you do, you kind of seek validation from the person. Everything you do, you think about that person and yourself at the same time, which is good. I'm not saying being considerate, you know, be selfish, but you guys need to realize that giving people that space to kind of build your character will leave you without a character when they leave and guys they will leave nothing lasts forever it's coming guys and it's so important especially when you're younger a lot of us i know it's a bit too late now but hi if you're a younger viewer this is for you the spark specific is for you please 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 do not let someone else kind of take over your life and your personality you know for example if you are like a 15 year old girl and you have a boyfriend say this is your first boyfriend and he's telling you listen you shouldn't be wearing this because it makes you look like because it makes you look easy you know that's the word you know teenage boys use it makes you look easy not only are you going to stop using what you want but your whole mentality is going to change because this person put in your brain that wearing this equates to looking easy so then you're gonna grow up and you're gonna like wear things that you might not even like because you already convinced yourself that this means that you're easy and like only when you break up with that person say you guys date for like a year you know i don't know a year you guys break up and you'll be like but wait it doesn't make me look easy that was just him and then you look back on your life and it's like there are so many things that I didn't wear because I thought this was me looking easy because this person kind of manipulated me into thinking that. And then it's like, whoa, I wasted so much of my life because I was basically letting this person shift my thinking, shift my lifestyle because we were complete, you know, we were each other's. I don't know if that makes sense, 
But guys, please be careful. Please, please be careful. Yo, you hear that? <laughs> okay, next. How long were we together for? Six to 12 months. Why did we break up? I don't know, you just stopped talking to me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Clearly we weren't in a relationship, so I feel like that happens and I'm sorry. Rate my personality. Eight. What did you actually think of my friends at the time? Nice and friendly. Still are. Roast me. Little princess crybaby. Why are you guys exposing me like that? Guys, I literally... I am such an emotional person. I know you guys see me here and you're like, nah, you're such a bad bitch. I am, but I'm also really soft. If I'm angry, I'll cry. If I'm jealous, if I'm insecure, if I'm hungry, you know, if I'm happy, if I'm sad, I just, I just cry. You know, like I cry a lot. And <laughs> but I am a princess though. I'm just gonna insert my invisible clown here. Princess. What's the worst thing you've ever done to me? Taking things too fast. Oh, guys. Highlight, highlight that. Don't take things too fast. Do you see us being together again? Why? Yes. Well, looks aside. <laughs> because you're fun to be with. Cool, chilled. They sempre papu slash pra contar. Overall, you're a very interesting person. Dramatic as well. Guys, I am not dramatic. I'm, I'm not dramatic. Enough said, I'm not dramatic. How awkward is this? 10. Sorry. What advice would you give to my next? Don't feel insecure with Sharon. If she likes you, she likes you. And that's one period. Plus, get ready for the drama in her life. Guys, can I just explain to you guys? I am not, I think people are gonna watch this and be like, yeah, no, she's, she's dramatic. I don't need that. Your future husband, if you're watching this, I am not a dramatic person. I have just lived a lot. I like things. I like, I like things. Okay, I said it. I like things. I like to experience things. I like to try things, you know. And for that reason, I have a lot of life stories. I have been through a lot of good and bad, you know. And so therefore, I just have a lot of stories to tell. And like a lot of things have happened to me. But I, I don't think I'm a dramatic person. Like I don't wake up and be like, ah, today I want to start drama. No. <laughs> Okay, and we are down to the last one. So if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe right now. I'll give you guys some time. I'm waiting. Okay, cool. How long were we together for? Six to 12 months. Why did we break up? We had some discussions which made us more distant and because I somehow didn't know what I wanted. And guys, that is okay. This was, I think, my first relationship. And when you're that young, I think I was like 15, 14, guys. I started dating very young. I regret it now, but like, I learned a lot of things. And there's a lot of things I, I you know, wish I could kind of like change with, like, or, you know, alter, which is why I'm here speaking to you guys, especially my younger viewers, because I kind of want you guys to learn from my mistakes, you know? So when you're that young, you don't know who you are. Hell, I don't even know who I really am right now. And it's okay to end friendships or relationships because you don't identify yourself with that person. Rate my personality, seven. What did you actually think of my friends at the time? Didn't think much of them, but I think they were cute. Sir? Sir? What? Rose me, you too short. Again with the short jokes, guys. What's the worst thing you ever did to me? insult you and i am sorry for that oh guys can i tell you guys a quick story time so this was probably like my first relationship as i said and um i was a very depressed teenager i know what you depressed you're so happy i know that's the thing right so i was very sad and there was a point where i was suicidal when this boy found out that you know i was suicidal and like i wanted to kill myself he kind of told me, you know, if you want to kill yourself, why don't you just do it? And I didn't really like react well to that because it was a point in my life where I was like, I'd say I was kind of being bullied. And like, for that reason, I didn't really have a lot of friends. So I expected him to be that one person to kind of like save me, you know, to be that person that's going to be by my side no matter what. And because I was so young, hearing this broke me, like it shattered me completely. And I. I know you guys are gonna be like, you ended a relationship because of a sentence. 
I end a relationship because of a sentence. Like if someone had to say that to me now, even though I'm not really suicidal, but even if I was, if someone had to say that to me now, I'd probably be like, okay, whatever. But being 15 and, you know, figuring out life, you know, not knowing a lot, not, you know, having a lot of life experience with like mental illness, not knowing what you're feeling, what's going on. It really triggered me, you know, and so we broke up. As for the I'm sorry part, it's okay. Really, like, it's okay. Do you see us being together again? Why? I don't know, maybe. Hmm. <laughs> How awkward is this? Nine. What advice would you give to my next? Take care of you and be patient, understanding, and caring. Why does everyone keep saying patient? Like, what am I, a child? Okay, don't answer that. But, like, what's up? Why y'all gotta be patient? what do you guys know that i don't know but yes guys that was, that was the last questionnaire and the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have got to this part of the video please comment down an emoji down below it doesn't matter which emoji any emoji i just want to know that you guys are actually listening to me and watching this video and obviously don't forget to like subscribe do the most show me some love and i'll see you guys in the next video